hi everybody I'm Professor Mohammed Shah with you um, today our subject is uh, is to talk about uh, single flashing geothermal single flashing um, steam power plant for uh, desalination and power generation our desalination plant is um, multi fig distillation thermal vapor compression uh, we have to specify our uh, main folder okay go to your destination folder based on your um, downloaded um, mod uh, folder okay um, this is our model uh, we have to uh, assign um, go to your view model uh, browser check this and check uh, check all of this uh, okay um, our target today is to talk about uh, geothermal energy in order to uh, generate thermal power for uh, by the use of intermediate unit uh, single flashing uh, cycle and we are going to utilize this uh, steam for power generation via turbine unit and the exhaust steam is responsible for uh, thermal power generation of multi-effect distillation thermal vapor cooperation so we have here a st steam ejector okay in order to uh, entrain some steam and uh, extract some steam from the last stage uh, as usual uh, by the operation of um, uh, multi-effect distillation thermal vapor cooperation and this uh, steam is responsible for the first effect and um, as if the first effect will deliver its thermal power by the decreasing of vapor temperature to the second effect and so on. So uh, this is, um, and we have here, for, of course, we have a pumping unit. Okay. Uh, set your uh, simulation time into infinity because I'm going for um, a dynamic system. Let's go and um, let's go and recognize what is uh, going up here. Okay, we have here a geothermal uh, uh, well, uh, uh, bombing unit, flash cyclone uh, type, uh, turbine unit, uh, MED thermal vapor cooperation, and cost analysis, cost control. This is our cycle, roughly. Uh, this this is our cycle. We have uh, this is an inlet from uh, the geothermal well, this early point, Salvi. Um, this is flashing, okay, flashing process at low pressure. So we have here um, around 30% of, uh, of steam going to, to the turbine unit. And we have um, expanding through the turbine unit to the condenser pressure. This is not a condenser pressure. It's um, in this cycle, we are going to consider this as a first effect uh, uh, condensating uh, pressure. So we have here condenser pressure or first effective pressure and bumping again and, and so on. Okay, uh, we have to assign some inputs. Let's, let's, let us uh, beginning from geothermal um, uh, well. We can assign uh, steam by diameter. I'm going for uh, 7 inch. Okay. Okay, and for st for cyclone um, steam velocity, I'll keep this. Steam velocity is responsible for uh, diameter or dimension of the of the of the flash cyclone, so you can uh, control this for design um, results. And we have here a turbine unit. We need to assign turbine efficiency and uh, ge um, generator efficiency. I'll keep these values. For MED, yes, MED is quite, let's go and emphasize a little bit, yes. So we have cont uh, operating conditions, CO2 temperature, suppose it's uh, 20 degrees Celsius, and brine blow down temperature, suppose it's around, let's begin from 30, I will change this, and salinity of seawater, field salinity, elite field salinity ratio, and blow down salinity ratio. Okay, a steam ejector, we have to assign um, uh, ejector compression ratio. Suppose I am going to begin from uh, uh, 1.8 and a motive steam uh, pressure. Okay, suppose I'm going to, to begin from 1400 
and uh, into condition and we have in the condition oh, okay a nozzle diameter keeps this value can control um, condition shield diameter I'll keep this design uh, aspects okay number of MED effect you can increase your number of MED effects uh, it's up to you increasing MED effect uh, will en enhance the performance or, or the gear ratio of your cycle uh, so I, I will keep this at um, at four for just for um, examination the Mr. Uh, Dennis T packing uh, evaporator chill diameter tube diameter and so on shield diameter I will keep this at um, two and we have performance uh, condenser efficiency I think it's uh, quite normal 80 percent distal bomb efficiency brew uh, down bomb efficiency and uh, CO2 efficiency and cost cost of the power okay I'll keep this in case of some uh, economic analysis I will trying to uh, controlling what's what's going on inside so uh, um, for each uh, each unit um, especially uh, MED this is a steam ejector because steam ejector is uh, controlling everything uh, especially in steam temperature and pressure of the steam and it can affect on uh, can affect on uh, even um, geothermal well dips so let's go here double clicking from from outside uh, we can assign our productivity you can change the productivity during your simulation during your simulation time you can affect suppose I need um, four five four five okay ambient temperature and that's it okay and going inside again double clicking here okay I, I will keep watching while changing um, the steam ejector uh, parameters. What is the effect on geothermal well, on uh, flash cyclone, um, mass flow rate, or, or even uh, drainage fraction, and so on? Let's go and uh, going to geothermal well here. Okay. Uh, don't forget to set your simulation time into infinity, and uh, let's hit run. And see what is going on here. Okay. Okay. Control minus. Okay. I, I will trying to increase uh, ejector compression ratio. So increasing ejector compression ratio, as you can see here, will reduce well temperature and the total cycle uh, mass flow rate is increasing. Okay, increasing uh, uh, ejector. Okay, let's go and uh, increasing. Uh, so, as you can see here, increasing motive steam pressure just mean you are going to increase uh, the top steam temperature. So this is responsible for um, uh, uh, for well temperature. Just means that you are going to dig more and more. So as you can see here, well depth, well depth is increasing, two kilometers, 2.7, 2.7. Okay, I'm going up to 2,500. Let's go inside the uh, flash cyclone. Let's go and watch what's going on with the, uh, okay, drainage fraction. Okay, drainage fraction. Yes. Suppose I I I, I would like to. Um, increase brine blow down temperature is any effect yes slightly effect it will decrease increasing brine blow down temperature will decrease uh, the flashing uh, 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 the drainage fraction okay let's go for enough for uh, 45 uh, let's go for ejector again uh, in decreasing uh, ejector compression ratio would yes increase the flashing again let's go and increasing ejector steam ejector up to three okay let's decrease um okay ejector motive steam pressure and trying to decrease to 16 bar 15 bar this effect on uh, it will be noticed on your um, 
uh, turbine unit as you can see here decreasing would decrease the power developed from the turbine unit if you decrease this you will decrease the power developed from uh, the turbine unit okay that's enough for this that's enough hit stop so um, it's completely uh, under your control um, uh, we have MED we have steam ejector controlling the design of steam ejector will control the power developed from the turbine will control uh, the wheel dips so, uh, will control the top cycle temperature steam temperature uh, dryness fraction through the, the outlet dryness fraction from the condens from the turbine unit this is the outlet and we have flash cyclone dryness fraction we have two dryness fraction we have this one we have this one okay and we have this one uh, the outlet turbine condition so uh, let's go and draw some figures and surely you can find you find out your results at uh, in your workspace you can go on here so you can find out your um, some of your results so this is salinity profile you can draw it four effects as you can see here we have four effects uh, this is profile temperature okay even even if you log yourself into uh, MED you will discover all results here this effect by effect brine blow down profile temperature profile vapor temperature profile this the temperature profile area per each effect total heat transfer area uh, end condenser results number of tubes many many parameters you can easily extract uh, actually okay suppose I'm going here for data inspector and I would like to uh, to do some uh, some results condenser dryness fraction okay fluctuating around 0.8 this is outlet condition from the turbine unit let's go here and from uh, 0 0.7 okay okay and uh, we have uh, Turbine power fluctuating, sure, it's from uh, 500, okay, from 2000, okay, fluctuating because we increased and, uh, and decreased uh, inlet ter turbine temperature, as you can see here, fluctuating, um, tem condenser temperature, uh, wheel pressure. Dryness fraction through the cycle, flash cycle, as you can see here, is completely, completely uh, clear. Uh, that uh, controlling uh, or mastering uh, the steam ejector through the thermal vapor compression (MED) will um, will eff affect on uh, all design parameters such as operating conditions or areas mass flow rate, flash water tank, okay, total mass flow rate. Uh, uh, tank volume, uh, tank width, height, uh, bump, uh, bumping power, bumping power, uh, um, well temperature, this is well temperature, decreasing and increasing, and we have well depths, according to temperature of the well, we have, we have to dig, if high, high temperature, um, will consume uh, uh, more um, uh, digging uh, efforts um, total water price let's go for total water price this, so you have many many parameters to inspect and to deal with uh, okay uh, let's close this and going for cost analysis under such circumstances we have here uh, this is our total water price so you have to deal with this parameter as a, a as an objective function so you can control um, operating, some operating conditions mass flow rates and steam ejector especially steam ejector you will get your results uh, uh, concluded in total water price specific power consumption very high um, too high i'm, so, I'm sorry 
So you can, uh, based on your design, it's, um, you can increase your number of effects and see what is going on. Okay, suppose I'm going to uh, zero, simulation time, going here and um, I will reduce uh, number of, uh, I'm sorry, below down temperature and number of effect, I will increase number of effect. Let's go for cost considerations and see uh, what's going on. So I try to optimize uh, uh, the system. Okay, so I, I decreased the total water price by increasing number of effect. I did two more effects, so I increased uh, the number of, uh, the, uh, decreased the, the total water price. Um, so we have here um, a very simple model. You can download it and deal with. Um, finally, uh, I would like to thank you for, uh, very much for your interest in uh, Ritz Library models. Don't forget to like, share, uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.